So I have a new start of a haul today. And I just finished my other one yesterday. Um, but I have some stuff from GP Sticker Studio, from Coffee Doodles, from Glam Planner, and from K & Co XO. So let's go ahead and get into these clips first. So I did pick up two like decorative clips. I, I mean, they're all decorative, but I got uh, two fancy clips. So I did get her, I guess these are like kind of like mint green. And I got the mini bow, I believe, and then the like resin flower. I thought these would be really cute. I'm not sure like what setup. I don't think I even have like a green setup coming up, but I just thought they would be cute to have because I don't think I have anything quite like that. And then I also picked up some of the larger sizes of these clips. I do have um, smaller ones I'll show you. Um, they look like this, but I think uh, the B6, I could, I could kind of use a couple bigger ones. And I also thought they'd be cool to have if I want to make some of my own little bow clips because I really do like the style of clips. So I did pick up two of the larger gold ones and then two of the larger black ones. These go kind of like in and out of stock but I just had them in my like save for later and then whenever I was ready to check out, I just kind of like looked to see if either of those were available at that time and they were, so I decided to pick them up. Next is the Glam Planner Mystery Kit. So this is the Itty Bitty and I, I think it's the Itty Bitty or something. I'm just gonna keep calling it the Itty Bitty because no one has corrected me. So um, this is a book lover type kit. Elle told me that it was like library themed, library slash book themed. Um, so I get this one because I like using this size in my rewind spreads. And then if I really, really like the art, I just buy it whenever it comes to her shop because they usually do. So um, on the front here, you kind of have like a double box scene with a library. You have a girl reading a book and it says just one more chapter. And then you have a little cat. You have some like bigger than half boxes. They're kind of like two thirds boxes. And then you have washi strips all along the side. Um, I have used these in my B6 rewinds before and I really like the setup for them. I use a lot of like uh, multicolor, like summer multicolor, winter multicolor, and I use a lot of color club. You get two more full boxes. You get seven full boxes total, so enough to do like a full week, even though I only use five in my rewind spreads. Weekend banner, icons, heart checklists, and some three heart checklists. Then you have some headers, flags, functional items, another full box, and a weekly box, and some quarter boxes. And then here you have appointment labels, more functional item deco, and then also some half boxes, like pattern half boxes. So this one's super cute. I don't think I'll be picking it up. This one kind of like screams fall to me. I don't think I'll be picking up the ultimate in this one, but I have ordered a couple of things from her main shop. So I'm excited for those to come in. And I've seen some sneaks of things she's going to be releasing and I'm very excited for the direction she's going as far as her shop goes. I do have an order in from Coffee Doodles, and this is from Elaine's shop, and like I said before, I love her shop. She did offer a discount code for you guys. It is Andrea15, Andrea15, for 15% off. I don't think there's an order minimum. And I've been picking up her mini kits. Um, I don't think I picked up, no, she sent me the Harry Potter one, but I picked up the mini kit and the other ones, I think. Yeah. So this is a four page mini kit and let me show you guys. She also sent me some die cuts. So there's a bow, a planner, and then some Gryffindor die cuts, some shoes, and another bow. So super, super cute. Thank you, Elaine. And then this is the kit. I thought it was super cute, a very anytime kit. This does read a little bit like June to me, which I think is perfect because that's kind of like around where I'm like planning for kits. So I think her timing is perfect. I really like the muted um, cool tone colors with the silver accents. And then the, the quote says, always stay humble and kind, which I actually really like that song. It's a country song. I don't really like a lot of country songs, but I remember whenever I heard it, um, I... Um, I remember when I heard it and I downloaded it like immediately and was like blasting it for days. And I love like scenes. I love like the bedroom scene and this little like setup here, which is really, really cute. Um, then you have headers, half boxes and quarter boxes. You have weekly stuff, weekend, check boxes, icons, flags. And then you have your bottom washi, which this says farmhouse on it. And then this washi, which for the B6, I'll probably just cut out the farmhouse, use this on the bigger side, this on the shorter side, and do some Simply Gilded washi with this. I think I have the perfect blue with silver for it. And then you have a bunch of washi strips, which I just think this is like the perfect size for my B6. And I'll pull in a couple of other items. 
This is a order from the GP Sticker Studio. I think I've placed either one or two more orders since this order. I love Gabby's shop. I don't know why I didn't never ordered before, but I really like her stuff. I feel like it's very trendy and in. She wrote a note that she popped in one of her removable fabric canvas wall arts, which I'm assuming is this one. Ooh, that's cool. I might put this on like something, like a binder or something. So it's on canvas and it says you are enough. So it's kind of like a journaling card, but you could put this on your wall if you wanted to. I probably won't put it on a wall because I have textured walls because I live in Texas and I feel like most walls here are textured. Um, but I'll probably put this on a binder or something or maybe I'll put it on here. Let me know down below if you think this is a good idea. This is my like character sticker binder and I could totally put this on the leather. I think that'd be cute. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below, but that's cute. So I don't know even what I ordered. So you get a little freebie and this is on her glossy paper. Oh, I forgot there's no more like um, clear backing, but this has the clear backing, right? It's like foggy now. Or maybe it was always foggy, I don't know. Um, so this is on her premium matte paper. Is this the mystery or no? Home sweet home. No, I ordered this one in shop. So I think from now on, there's so many sheets in this these kits that I'm just going to order the kits a la carte. So I think when I ordered the other um, kit that I ordered, I think I ordered maybe two more times. And then I'm also subscribed to her mystery. So I think whenever I order, because I'm going to probably use a lot of these in my B6, I'm going to order these three sheets and then pull like multicolor items. So I really like um, the full boxes. I think they're super cute. I like this paper. It's really like soft. And I like how like muted her colors are and it's just very like fashion-y and I don't know, just super cute. So that is um, the full boxes and then she, oh, that's cool. Oh, wow, look at that. This is so fun. Ooh, that's cool, I like that. Fun for days. And then there's like a washi page that has like two strips of washi and then like extra washi and stuff like that. And then a bunch of half boxes and some quarter boxes. These are like squared off. Um, so that's what I think I'm going to order from now on. But I'm subscribed to like her full mystery kit. So I'll have those too. So there's just so much in these. How many pages are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I mean, I guess my kids have eight. I just feel like there's a lot going on here. Okay, so you have a bunch of deco. Super cute. And then you have your date covers, which I said I liked her date covers um, before. I really like how neutral they are, and I feel like usually one you could use with a different kit. Uh, and I like that they're not just squared, that they have like a kind of a deco cut on the outside. Um, so there's like a marble one and then like a very light like pastel, but I even feel like if you wanted to use those, you could save these for later. Then you have your little things in your headers. I like this font that she picked. The Hello Weekend, some icons, some deco script type deals, some checklists, weekly checklists, quarter box appointment label, bill due, heart checklist, and then you have the regular checklist, which I think, again, these you could use in another spread very easily. So that is everything that I picked up from the GP Sticker Studio. Super excited. I have so many of her kits, and I, I, feel, like, I feel like it's kind of the same for me um as like I think I've mentioned in another video where you know back in the day whenever we all had our little sticker collections where you didn't want to use a sticker because you're like that I won't have it anymore and that's how I feel with her kits which is like a I think like a compliment um what is a compliment like I don't want to use them because I'm like well then I won't have it anymore but I guess I'll have to like think that it's like going to be eternally like not eternally it's gonna live forever in my planner it's just like I want the perfect week but her kits are like anytime kits so I'm like uh I think I'm going to use one very soon because I'm like very excited about it. So I think that's everything for this little portion of the haul. I think I haven't put up my other haul, but I'm going to kind of decide then what I'm going to do in my hauls. Like if I'm going to do them weekly or just based on like a time or what. But I'm really excited about all of these things. I love, I love, love. I love all of these shops. So definitely check them out. And I do have that discount code for Coffee Doodles, which is Andrea15. I don't get any like kickback from that. I just think it's cool that I have a discount code for you guys. So um, I'll be back in a second for you guys. Hey, 
Well, I, I always do that. Like I'm like already ready to film like a play with me or something, but I just have my haul for you guys today. I've been doing the thumbnails like this. It's been easier to remember to just take a picture. Um, I do have a loot crate, which isn't really planner related, but I think that because it's like Harry Potter related, we can get away with showing it um, being planner related. I kind of wanted to start doing like a seasonal favorites, like mostly big planner items, but then at the end throw in a couple of like lifestyle favorites. Let me know if that's something that you guys want to see or you even care or you don't care or if you don't care and you won't watch it and then everybody else wants to it. I don't know. I don't know. So the first thing I have here is an order from two little bow babies and I think their clips are so cute. I feel like she has a big, big, big old variety of stuff and I just love them so much. So I saw she had a, I'm pretty sure this was everything, a pastel collection. I think there's five of them and I got the mini ones. I don't know if I have one near me. That's her larger one. Is a yeah these so i think that the bigger ones are more like this size this was from like it's whatever sparkle ones i have a i think i have almost all of her sparkly ones but i really like these and she sells them like individually or you can buy them as a pack so i bought the whole set just because i thought they were really cute colors and great for spring and then she went ahead because she's just so sweet i think she always usually puts something extra in my orders she threw in these extra ones so there's a black one which is super cute i love how petite this one is with gold polka dots and a gold little center area this gold sparkly one which is the one i have like a bunch of but i don't have any of the mini ones so you can kind of see again the difference in sizing so this one is bigger and then she also sent me this cute little pink one a little white with the gold and the gold dots and then also a little charm with a resin pink flower and a gold bow which is gorgeous so that is everything from two little bow babies i don't shop from a lot of different bow shops but i really really love her stuff so i would definitely recommend if you're looking for some bows i did also place a small order with grin and barrett i feel like i don't have a lot of grin and barrett stickers this is stupid cute thank you very much yes super cute so um i don't have a lot of grin and barrett stickers but i feel like the ones that i do have i actually like go through um like i find myself like really going for the ones that i do have just because i feel like i'll show you guys which ones i pick up so i picked up some repurchases i should have picked up another one of the like ramen ones but i didn't think about it next order so you get a little journaling card you get this little rewards card which i think this would be just cute to kind of like cut it out but i guess if you redeem five you get five dollar credit then there was um freebies in here so Okay, so there's this one, which is the regular freebie. So I guess this is the rewards sticker. Am I missing something? Oh, you put, I think you put those little guys in there maybe? Yeah. So you get like a little sampler here with like a bow, Netflix and things like that. I should probably zoom in just a smidge. And then there's this one, which is the Grin and Barrett Facebook groupie exclusive sampler. I'm not in the Facebook group. She must have just threw that in there. Then I did order two of the die cuts. So this one is, these are like raincoat ones, which I thought were really adorable and super cute. I like how much white is in these stickers. So I feel like they match a lot of spreads. I got the little nap ones because I think I'm like halfway or a little bit more done with my nap sheet that I have. And I really like these to mark things with Bubba or to mark if I take a nap usually with him and then there's a little like get it but I thought that this one looked like Bubba like crawling and like doing cute stuff like I feel like these would be good if he had like a, like a really good poop because I feel like that's what he looks like when he poops TMI I know then I just got the little rain one because I only have I think once more with love rain stickers but I thought if it was like really just a big old rainy day and that was something that I really wanted to mark I think it was like really good for like a hurricane um uh then i can use it to mark that i don't know i was like brain fart i think i need some like pop in my life i got another one of these cards someone says it looks like love this libe like a that looks like a b and i don't disagree but i still think that this is like the prettiest simply gilded card because i feel like you could use it with so many like tan kits because it's so simple and it's not like any other ones that have like a ton of things going on um i haven't i have my uh candy bows still coming but this is so cute. Look how cute it is. So I love Simply Gilded. I love Irene. She's literally the best. Um, 
we've been talking about something today and I'm really excited about it. Um, so it comes with this cute little like simply gilded thingamabobber. I actually store all of my little bows, like you get this as a freebie, in one of these, which kind of keeps them a little bit more organized because I actually have like a little TN accessory drawer. So these are great for storing the little things or maybe you could store your little like planner clips in here or I mean you can store the necklace which what it is made for but you know then there was a little business card which I always toss in the garbaggio and then I did get one of the necklaces I do have this in rose gold but y'all know I'm a gold girl I don't know if I'm actually going to wear this necklace I was actually debating on buying two one to wear I think it'd be cute to wear to like planner events and things like that this is like so heavy and nice too um but I thought I could like finagle this to put it on my planner um maybe like my a5 or a6 planner so I would just take off the top two little doodads and put it on. Let me see how like size wise it would look. Yeah, I think this would be cute to just like put on here. I don't know how I would do it or if I would just put it through like the loop de loop or what. Like put the little string like in here. But I kind of think that would look really, really cute. I feel like that's like kind of like a waste of a necklace because it is like a really cute necklace. I mean, look how it would look. It is really cute. So maybe I'll buy another one. I just feel like... I don't know. I just really want to put it on my planner somehow and kind of incorporate it in there. They are really nice, heavy duty. Like, I feel like all of the metal things, like whether it's like um, uh, the keychains and the magnets and stuff are all really, really amazing quality from Simply Gilded. There, nothing feels like cheap and like just like everything's very like heavy and weighted. So I didn't pick up anything else from the coffee collection, but I thought this was a very like versatile or versatile, versatile, versa, I don't know, a little washi tape and it's one of the skinny ones and it just has black polka dots and I think it's a great filler. Um, and I just thought it was really cute and unique. So I figured I would pick it up. It reminds me of like Dalmatian print. Then I do have my loot crate here, which is Harry Potter. Um, it's the Harry Potter exclusive loot crate thingy, my bobber. And um, let me sit down just a little bit for this one. So, I saw this advertised on Facebook. I think I looked and I ordered it on February 2nd and it just came like yesterday, the 20th or something like that. Uh, or the 21st was yesterday or no, the 22nd was yesterday. I don't know. But I wanted to get it just to try it out. And I think I'm going to keep it just for now just because like I feel like Harry Potter is like the thing. So this is like a licensed product. It's not like knock off Harry Potter stuff. So this is actually a Loot Crate exclusive, which I think this is really cool. You got to like pick your size. So I got a large and it's a like Hogwarts crest, but it's kind of like a little bit different because it's kind of like inverted it looks like an inverted black and white image and then it says hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardy it wizardry wizardry but i thought this was really really cute so i got that then i got i don't know if you could pick your house maybe you got like i got a little gryffindor magnet which i have a place for that um i have a little um dough pin which is so sweet. I do have a pin board. I collect pins. So again, I have a place for this. Usually like with subscription boxes, I'm like, what the heck am I going to do with all this stuff? Then you got like an enter for a chance to win a trip. And then you have this, which is wizards welcome muggles tolerated wizardy wizard wizardry at work. No muggles allowed, which I think is really, really cute. And I'll probably just like put this on like my shelf, probably on like the white side because my room's a little bit more like airy. Then there was a Harry Potter set of notebooks. I don't know, like, I think, like, the rest of this stuff you could probably get elsewhere. And I don't remember how much the box is, but it's kind of more expensive. But it is, like, bi-monthly. I wonder if this would fit in my A6. I feel like they would. They're kind of, like, thicker, though. But they're a set of notebooks. There's four designs and 50 sheets of paper in each. Um, let's see. So you have this one with the like flying keys on it. This one says happiness can found even in the darkest times if one remembers to turn on the light. So this one is lined. I think they're all lined. This one is just says always. So sweet. Look at them. So cute. And the paper is like not like white. It's more of like a yellow paper. And then you just have like a little griff. Well, I guess it actually has all the houses on it. So it's a little Hogwarts one. So I think this would actually fit. In my A6. I don't know if it would fit in a pocket, but I think it would fit in the A6 if I wanted to. It's a thick notebook though. 50 pages in there. Look at that. Actually, it might fit the pocket. Eh, it would be, I think it'd be a tight squeeze. So super, super cute. And I'll definitely use these notebooks. I've been going notebook crazy. And I've been using little notebooks a lot just to write lists in. So super cute. Definitely can use those. 
And then the last thing, well actually you have this little like, oh it tells you like what is in here. So I feel like it is kind of expensive. I think it was like 50 bucks for some reason, which I think is kind of a lot, but what do I know? Um, there is this little Newt Scamander, a movie scrapbook, and I actually love movie scrapbooks. I think a lot of Harry Potter, the Harry Potter movies have these, um, and then there's different parts, like obviously like Newt has one, and I think they have like ones for like all of the main characters too, but I love movie scrapbooks, and I just think they're so fun. It kind of like is in the same realm to me as like pop-up books where it's like a book that is just like so interesting with all of its like little doodads. So you get like a little tag and there's just different like actual items in here. And I just think that's super fun. Like look how cool this is. I don't know, I've always just been like kind of fascinated with like these kind of books. I think they have one really big one that I have that's like, oh, that's so cool. That is um, just a Harry Potter one. Like look how cool this is. Is this a pop-up part? Um, but I just love these, and I love, I'm a, I like, not collect, like, professionally, but I collect, I can't get, do anything with these things, I collect, uh, no, it's not, um, pop-up books, so, like, unique pop-up, pop-up books, this is so cool, okay, so yeah, I think it is pretty cool, I probably would have bought this if I saw it, like, at Barnes & Noble, and look how cool the cover is, so, you did get a book, a shirt, a pin, a magnet, four notebooks, and then a sign, again, I think it's kind of expensive, but, I don't really know like what all of these items would be, but I'm staying subscribed for like one more round and see how it goes. But super cute and I will, well just like a blue crate and they have like all different ones. So that is everything for this little portion of the haul. So I'm here with my little last portion of the haul and I have something that's kind of like meh. And then I have some really awesome exciting items. So let's go ahead and go over the meh thing first. So I ordered this, and this is a little, like, London to Hogwarts platform nine three quarters ticket, and I think the, the reason why it's meh is there's so much, like, black, I mean, I don't even see this stuff on stickers, because I feel like the sticker stores have a lot more of, like, a quality control, maybe, I don't know if you could see it, but there's a lot of, like, black spots where, like, the foil didn't, like, adhere, and I just feel like the price was, and I didn't, <clears throat> I thought this was, like, not gonna be just like a paper for some reason. I don't know what I thought it was gonna be, but it was 1913 for this piece of paper, which is crazy. But that's like, I guess, like on me. So I'm probably still gonna use it because I paid $19 for it. But um, I think I probably paid something crazy for the shipping too because it was international. And 6.30, so it cost me $25 for that little piece of paper. But I mean, I don't know. I was just like, and I just feel like the foiling, like there's a lot of it, a lot of imperfections. Like my foiling looks better than this. My foiling is crap. So let's go ahead and get into the Foxy Fixes I got. I did do a huge D stash of Foxy Fixes. Like I only have two B6, a pocket, and then an A6 left, um, Foxy Fix wise. And I got rid of, I think like 11 TNs, maybe 11-ish, 11, 11 or 12. They went so fast. I did not think they were gonna go that fast. So, and these have the crappy strings on them again, which is like kind of disappointing. I do have like a lot of elastic like left over, but I thought that they were gonna like fix this soon, but I guess not. Um, this is like the crap one. This one's like really nice, like elastic on this one. So um, I did pick up two A6. I did, was gonna pick up like a bunch, but these will be all of my A6 that I currently have. And then I think, and which is a number three, I think, I'm gonna pick up a red one like before Christmas time. So I really love this one that I have. This is, I actually don't even remember what this one's called. Let's not, let's not even get into it. <clears throat> then I have Cosmos, which is a really pretty hot pink. And this one I got the blind embossed pink bow and white stitching and white elastics. This one I got the is snow and I got the did I get the I got the pen loop on all of them I think no not on the B6, um, but I wish I would have got the pen loop on my other A6. And this one um, is the snow and I did get both of these in six strings so they are wide. And I got this one in white elastic white stitching. And then I also got this one, which is going to be my like Harry Potter wizard um, notebook. And I'm really excited to set this up for that. And I got a B6 with the Fox and Pit bow with the gold emboss, 
black stitching, black um, cord. I was gonna get like a red or a burgundy color, but I just decided the black is perfect. And then I got the two pockets and no pen loop because this is kind of like my rewind planner. And then just the four strings. So really excited about that. And then the last thing that I got, which I'm kind of excited to test out, is I got this and you're probably like, what is that? Um, I bought it off of Amazon and I don't even know why this like came to me or like why this like hasn't ever came to me before. But I looked up a sticker collecting album, and this is a 5x7 pastel pink with sparkle glitter. There was another different sparkle glitter one, which I'll link those down below. I normally don't link things in hauls because normally I forget, so I just kind of am like, I don't link it, so that's that's just the jam. Um, so I will link this one and the blue one down below just because it might be a little bit hard to find, I'm not sure. But it has like a laminated cover. I feel like somebody's like making these because they also sent like a pack of like random stickers which I think is so funny. I got an American flag, a little holographic snowman, a little happy birthday bear, a holographic moose, an ice cream sundae, a St. Bernard, a heart, and a little like flower thing. These are all hollow. And then a golf ball and a baseball. So I'm going to put those in. I'm just going to throw them away because no one really wants this. So I ordered this because I was like, I don't even really know what I was like thinking about, but I was like, Oh my goodness, I remember I used to have like sticker collecting albums. So my like whole thought process here was to, and I'm probably, I don't know if I want to do it with a sampler. I wanted to see if I had like an extra kit somewhere. Let me go grab one real quick. Or like some random stickers. Let me see what I got over here. I decluttered a full sheet of nothing. Let's use these. I mean, they're just glossy stickers, so they work. Um, but I had these, but I decluttered this, but I was like, who wants an empty sheet of nothing? So I'm gonna need some coffee doodles stickers that were my declutter pile. And I was like, what if I like got this and I could organize like all of my samplers. And I really wanted like from um, my kits to be able to save the scribblers because they're in like colors that won't be in the shop. And then also some of the munchkins. And I wanted to be able to organize all of my samplers or like sheets that are like running really low. So I was like kind of wondering like how this would work with planner stickers. So I'm gonna be the tester of this and if it works out, I'll do like a whole video like once I get everything all organized, which I think will be so fun. But I don't know why this didn't like come to me before like this idea. Um, I mean, it's not like, I don't think, I think it was like one of those ideas that are just so simple that you never think of. Um, but yeah, so this was like $10 on Amazon and it, it's a five by seven album. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't know, like 15 pages, 15 or 12 pages. Mm, might sample listing. So, I mean, normally these would, let me see. Oh yeah, that'll work. And it, I think that there'd be some kind of like um, resistance if they weren't gonna come up later, but this is like, Perfect. Like these come up so easily and they stick because I feel like I could totally put like the stickers on the sticker backing. So if I take this and I put it on the backing, like it sticks, but it's, well, now you're going to stick, but it comes off very easily. Whereas this, like it's actually sticking, which is really cool. And I can just go ahead. Yeah. That's like not going to stick, which is so cool. I wonder what like paper this is. If anybody has any idea, let me know in the comments down below. It's like, I was thinking it might be wax paper, but it definitely is like sticking better or like parchment paper. It's like a thicker than parchment paper, but that is like super cool. And I'm definitely going to yeah, like organize all my samplers and everything on here. And I will show you guys like what comes out of it, but I'm like so pumped, but that's everything in this little portion of the haul. I think this might be the end of the haul. I'm trying to do like four sections per haul. So I hope that you guys liked this one and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Okay, this will be the serious last part of this haul, but I got my candy bows order in and I am so excited. It came in its little plastic thingamabob and oh my gosh. Okay, so first things first, you get a little journaling card and this has a little ice cream cone on it. Pink background that says sweet and simply gilded. Super, super cute. I also placed an order, like this was included in that order, but I've been obsessed with her little notebooks. Like if anybody has any that they don't want, hit a girl up. Um, but I've been using these to write lists in, which I have been loving. So I decided to pick up two of these, even though I'm pretty sure I traded somebody something for these, but I just picked up two extra just to have. 
Um, and these are like just dot notebooks and I write lists in them. I don't know if I have like a page in mine currently using this one um, that I don't have something like I probably don't want everyone in the world seeing. So I usually just write like a little, I draw like a little checkbox um, in here and then I write something down and then if I want to put something in my planner I'll usually write like a little asterisk and write down like the item that I want to remember to put in my planner at the end of the day I'll write the little date in the corner and then I'll put either a check mark or a little plus if I move it like to the end of the list for the next day so I've been really liking this and it's been really work working for me so I decided to pick up extra ones so this I bought the candy bows bundle this was like insane trying to get um, it also came with a business card and a little bow sticker, which I always keep my little bow stickers and throw away the business cards. Um, the release was insane. Um, I was definitely having heart palpitations, but I got a set and I'm so excited. So it came with this adorable little like sky, like, um, oh, somewhere over the rainbow. That's so cute with like a like rainbow ombre on there, which is really cute. And I'm excited to add this to my notebook stash and use this. It also came with the sticky notes, which really I could kind of care less about the sticky notes, but I'll definitely save them and use them. So it is the same kind of pattern that is on the notebook with a little gold heart on the bottom, which is really adorable actually, and has, um, what was I going to say? It has like the rainbow on the front, which is super cute. Um, I don't, I like unroll my bows. It's just nothing I do. So I'm just going to show you guys them like in their packages. So I did get um, the bundle. So it did come with the skinny and the, um, the skinny and the like chunky, I guess. I'm so excited to open them and um, put them in my little Simply Gilded book though. Like my little log of all the Simply Gilded bows I have, which I feel like I have most of them. There's a couple that I don't have, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that soon. I never know what to do with these boxes, so I usually just throw them away. They're super cute though, um, but I don't really have a purpose for them. So I I got, like I just keep saying, I got, I got the bundle, I got the bundle. So um, in the bundle, you got the bigger bows. I don't know a millimeter. I'm not like that that into it, but um, I, there's the one with the gold, which is the green and the gold, which is like a light gold, I think. And then you have like the hollow silver and the yellow pink and the blue. Honestly, like I'm using this kit. I, I don't know. I think you'll see this beforehand, but I'm using this kit from my shop Easter. And like how perfect do all of these bows look with this? Like the yellow, like seriously the pink there's no green but i think there might be green in like the full boxes and then the blue like they're just like the perfect colors for like easter so you know i'm gonna be having to pull in one of these bows for that there also is the skinny bows which i kind of like use just in my like traveler's notebook i don't really use these in like spreads i was thinking like maybe i should start like kind of pulling these into the spreads like maybe that'd be a good idea I don't know really what I would do them with. I think like they would be, they're a little thicker than a header. I don't know what I would use them for. Maybe like my sidebar, like putting them in between things. I don't know. I would have to like get rid of like a whole habit tracker. I'm looking at my spread to use those. Then I'm probably second to like the chunky bows. Most excited for the white and gold. I loved the white and the, they said it's pink. I just call it white and rose gold um, that I used in the honey spread. Um, I def I mean, it's, de it's definitely pink gold, but it looks like rose gold to me. Um, I think like rose gold varies because I feel like the rose gold from Shum Shops looks more like what rose gold and then like from rose colored days it's more like a pink foil so that's where i get like i don't know everything's rose gold to me that's kind of pinky and then so you got the white with the gold bow and this is probably going to be my ride or die um i should have tried to get like the um like individuals of the chunkier one i'm actually might have just been like the set but i think this one's going to be used a lot because you can kind of use it with any spread then um, and especially like a busier spread, it looks nice to do the, um, white because it matches everything if you have gold in your spread and then it just kind of breaks up that bottom washi, which is really nice. Then there was this one, which is like kind of like the same kind of color rainbowy type thing as this. It's a little bit more of like a muted sad rainbow, but I'll definitely get some use out of this. I don't know if I'll be able to pull this as easily into a spread. But I'm sure, yeah, I think that would even look cute maybe with the Easter. I think it's one of the ones that looks kind of wild because it's all like, 
it's like not opaque so you can kind of like see through it and then the color doesn't look as cute so it might be one of the ones that you have to really look at let's open this one that you have to look at unrolled to see its beauty just because it's not all one solid color the whole way through oh God, i'm still gonna have such trouble trying to figure out which one to use this week obviously i won't use the green because it has the gold in it i'll unroll this one this is very unlike me. I feel like Viv, every time whenever she like does her haul with some McGill, she's like, I'm not going to do it. And it's like the most mad I ever hear Viv is when she talks about unrolling her Simply Gilded washi. But I totally get it because it never stinking sticks back on itself. So I have so many washies that are so like random looking. Yeah, that's so much prettier when you unroll it because you could see the actual colors of it. This one's going to have flying and limey washi bits all over the place now, though, because it's not going to stick back on each other. But how cute is this? <sighs> See, I feel like even this would go really pretty. It's a little bit more colorful, but I'm going to find a spread for this. I'm going to find a spread, and if not, it'll just be really cute to decorate my Traveler's Notebook pages and things like that. I like pulling in Simply Gilded Washi for that. Um, I think it's super cute. Or just kind of like, you know, sealing a cute envelope to somebody or... I don't know. I find I find ways to use it. I'm gonna try and seal this sucker back up. Okay, so that is all of the bows, but like look how pretty these are. They look ridiculous with my fingernails because they're like neon, but pretend those aren't there. But look how cute. I'm so excited and yeah, I love Simply Gilded, y'all know, and I am obsessed. <sighs> That's the end of the haul for real this time. Bye.